more and older adults who uh, take courses and participate in programs in the universities and institutions. So as usual, all participants in education consist of a heterogeneous group. Older adults participants are no exception. So older adults participants belong to a heterogeneous group, which means the universities and the institutions need to cater to the needs of older adults as well. The elements that we consider here are the strategies, the locations, techniques, subjects, and the type. So um, the older adult students, some strategies that may be useful in serving the elderly population with uh, educational programs. Number one is the formal education. Formal education is like further education can contribute the elderly in things such as their interests, their ability, access, encouragement and reward for the continuing education. Number two is the age. So, the record in 1983 records say that only 40% of older adults participate in the continuing education, but today's the figure could be like more, or I just found out it's 40%. So number three is about health. So older people in good health and from higher social economic levels tend to maintain and even to increase their participation in formal associations even after the uh, age 60. Number four, other characteristics such as elements such as the income status, occupation, cultures, and uh, uh, activities that they joined. All these are useful in serving the elderly uh, population with educational programs just mentioned before. Other strategies influence the recruitment of older adults into formal education is will be affected by like the uh, contextual influences, um, which I have mentioned just mentioned before. There is the age and the other things like uh, formal education, health, and other characteristics. And the second one is about the programmatic influences. So the programmatic influences such as accessibility to the program involvement, uh, effective teaching, whether effective or not effective, meaningful curriculum, effective or not effective, and participant achievement, whether achieve desired income outcomes for effective domain, cognitive domain, and psychomodal domain. So the careful selection of learning projects for the elderly will increase the probability that they will experience success and thereby enhance their self-image and their self-confidence. Finally, thank you very much for your uh, participating today, watching and listening. Until next time.